Hello guys and welcome back. Today we are going to look at a particular issue uh, that I found when you press the single cup or double cup button and just run hot water into a white cup you're going to find black particles. Now that black particles is nothing but coffee grinds that are old. Now usually after I make a shot I use a brush to clean the group head screen and that helps to an extent. Then afterward I kept noticing that there are still black particles coming out from the group head. So what is causing that? Now there could be few solution. Now I've seen some baristas after they do one or two shots they do a back flush. This is to make sure that the old coffee grinds don't come out uh, through the group head shower screen into the the new espresso shot. Uh, will that help to an extent? I'm going to test both these and let's find a solution. I'm going to show you the solution, a permanent solution to this. Uh, if you haven't noticed, make sure you switch on your Bravel or any espresso machine and run hot water directly into a white cup and notice the black particles. I'm going to show you now. And I'm going to show you the solution at the end, how to fix this permanently. So stay tuned and let's go to the machine. Here, I just made an espresso shot and look at the group head screen. It's dirty. Um, that's what you usually find as soon as you make an espresso. So what normally people do is they just run a hot water cycle to clean that area and some people wipe it with a cloth now if you look here there's a lot of black coffee grinds there and let me try again and this is the second hot water run so here again I see a lot of black particles let me discard this. Let me run one more. Still the same result. There's a lot of grinds. I run out of water, so I'm just resuming the video. Let me discard this and uh, for the sake of doing it, let me do one more. Still, I see a lot of black particles. Now, this is a very common issue. Let me discard this. And if you look at the group head screen, the shower screen, it looks clean. Where are these black particles coming from? So even if I run more cycles, I'm going to get the same result. I'm going to find more black particles again and again. So how do we fix this? Here is another scenario where I just made an espresso and look at the group head. It's, it's dirty, obviously it's dirty, even around the gasket there, it's dirty. Now I'm going to use this brush. So this brush, I got it from Ikea. So I'm going to use this. This is what I normally use. After I'm done with the espresso shot, I just uh, brush it around and it helps or will it? Let's find out. So I'm going to run an empty shot just to clean what is there in the surface and then I'll use this. Okay, so I'm going to use the brush now around the gasket. Okay, so now let's run a shot and see whether it helped 
Now before that, let's have a look whether the group head looks any better. And it looks clean. Okay. So let me run an empty shot. It's still the same. The, I see a lot of black particles. So I'm going to discard this and let me run one more time. So I got a clean cup here, one more time. I still see a lot of black particles. Okay, let me discard this. I'm going to run one more cycle of it. Let me clean it using the brush. Now, one more time. I still see black particles. So obviously, um, even using the brush, it's not helping. It helps to an extent, but it's not fully clearing off the black coffee particles. So what can we do now? I'll show you a fix now, stay tuned. Now, some people would claim that the back flush would help because whatever coffee grinds is here, it's going to flush it back into the tray here. So let's see whether back flush would really help. So I'm going to take the cleaning disc that came with the kit. I'm going to take a single uh, basket. It could be pressurized or non-pressurized, doesn't matter. And I'm going to take my potter filter and I'm going to do a back flush cycle. I'll do two cycles just in case and see whether it really helps. Make sure it is tight. Now I'm going to run a cycle, a back flush cycle. It is going to generate a lot of pressure because you're blocking the water flow. And then that water should flow through the back flush plumbing and go into the tray. Let's see. Okay, obviously the pressure is high. I'm going to stop. You hear the sound. So it did a back flush into the tray. Let me do one more time and you can monitor here, right somewhere here. So the pressure goes very high and then it should throw in all the particles down there. That's where the water flows down. Now let's see if it really helps. Usually that's what uh, the baristas do after making three or four shots. They do the back flush just to ensure that it's clean. Now I'm going to put back my tray. So here's my cup and I'm going to run a cycle and see whether it has cleared. Here we go. And I still see a lot of black particles. Even after back flushing, this is what I got. OK, 
Okay, let me run it again. Okay, it has reduced till I see one or two particles still floating around. Now, how do I permanently eliminate this black particles coming out continuously, even after cleaning, even after back flushing? We'll have to open this group head. Let me show you a close up. The black particles that you see, uh, they are floating somewhere between the group head screen and the group head that's where it is getting trapped usually i'm going to open this and show you and it's time to clean anyway so there'll be a lot of dirt i'm assuming and this should be part of your monthly cleaning process so let me open this now now in your bravel cleaning kit you would have received this ln key this is what you need to use so let me show you another view. Now I just switched off the machine. That's the first thing you need to do because this can be really hot. If possible, wait till your machine is cold. Now using the LN key, uh, first thing to notice, this is to be turned counterclockwise. That's how you open this, this way. Okay, make sure you don't lose the screw and I'll give you a trick to take this out obviously it's going to be very tight don't use a spoon or anything sharp I've seen people using knife just to open this screen I'll give you a very simple and safe tip now all you need is a teaspoon and a paper towel just fold it one or two times and then wrap it around the spoon that's it now use this portion to open it's so easy let me show you a close-up now there is a small cut here where you can put the spoon in make sure it goes into this area just push it up and then pull it down it's that simple just came out so this is one way to take it out without damaging anything even silicon or the group head screen now let's look inside look at these black particles that are stuck this is what you're getting every time you run the hot water these are the particles that you get So let's clean it up and then we'll run another cycle. Obviously this side looks crystal clear, but this is where all the coffee grinds are getting trapped. Let's have a closer look here as well. Okay, I think this is a better view with flash on. And you can see the coffee grind stuck around the silicon gasket and even on the surface here. There's a lot of coffee particles there. So I'm going to clean both these areas and then come back. So to clean this area, I'm going to use a wet paper towel and I'm going to wipe. That's all you need. You could use mild organic soap. Make sure you rinse it immediately after cleaning. Look at the dirt. Let me use the other side, which is clean. still coming uh, also ensure that you clean the gasket I'm going to take out the gasket and clean it as well uh, so that there won't be any dirt which is trapped inside this area look at this that's where this is getting trapped so let me clean it and come back so here's the group head after cleaning thoroughly with the wet paper towel and 
and it's time to clean the shower screen as well uh, let me run the water it should come through this hole here okay all looks good now to clean the shower head is easy just run some hot water and use some soap that's it looks new so let's put the shower screen back and then we'll run a shot and see now to put back this shower screen it's easy just stick it in make sure it's aligned properly and push it a bit up and then you can use that screw to tighten it yeah now it has gone all the way up and it should stick on its own that means you have put it properly and then tighten it so it's the other way to tighten it And now you can use the Allen key to tighten the remaining. Okay, that should be good. You don't have to over tighten it. Now I'm going to run another cycle of water and see whether this helped. So here's the clean cup and let's run the water. Look at that. Now I don't even I don't see even a speck this time unless you can spot any. Looks crystal clear water. So cleaning the shower screen and the group head helped to stop the flow of the black particles into the coffee so i hope you enjoyed today's video and if you do please don't forget to subscribe i'll be posting more videos related to breville and other coffee products so stay tuned there are more tips coming there are more fixes coming see you guys next time bye for now